can't pin, can't submit them. So the best thing to do, the best thing to do really is to just, you know, get the count out. That's the best you can do. Is just beat the shit out of them, get the count out, and then you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob Van Dam. What a no way out it's been so far, Taz. And here come the combatants for tonight's pivotal main event. A tables, ladders, and chairs match for the WWE title. The first superstar to reach the title, hanging above the ring, walks out of here, the WWE champion. You keep calling it the WWE title, Cole. I think the champion, Rob Van Dam, might have something to say about that. Nonetheless, this struggle for control of SmackDown will see a major chapter unfold here tonight, depending on who leaves No Way Out with the victory. Here he is, the ECW champion, Mr. Pay-Per-View, Rob Van Dam. I don't know how he's been able to convince so many superstars to turn their backs on the WWE, but I hope it all comes to an end here tonight. And I think these superstars... Hey, Cole, let me tell you from experience. Getting hit with a table, not fun. How much can these superstars possibly have left? They got as much left as it takes, Cole. Trust me. You get in that ring and you find out you got reserves you never knew you had. I can imagine. Nothing pushes you to the limit quite like a WWE match. Not what the chair was meant to be used for. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think you're easy picking. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings. No matter how big a sickening impact from that steel chair. I gotta say, Cole, when I first heard about this match, I wasn't... If he keeps connecting with that chair, this is going to be a real short match. You know, RVD calls himself the whole day. Oh my god! That was a heck of an impact to that ladder. What an incredible match we've seen so far. It ain't over yet, Cole. It sure isn't. I think these superstars could keep going for quite a while longer. Oh my god, he's using that clamber as a weapon. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turbuckle. Fuck.
entire career, have you ever seen a superstar as loved by the fans as Rob Van Dam? Nope, I've never had. I mean, every crowd that Van Dam performs in front of loves this guy to death, no doubt about it. No matter how he gets a thud of the ring. I guess that's great for Van Dam. I'm so much can go wrong from that top turnbuckle. Oh my god, dog. Uh... Off that WWE superstars are legit tough guys, but these superstars are really raising a bar here tonight. They sure are, Taz. We're seeing some great intensity here tonight. And that's the name of the game called intensity. You gotta stay on your opponent until one of you can't go anymore. I think these superstars are well aware of that, Taz. I think that's exactly what they've got in mind. This business a piece of cake. This should get in the ring with these superstars. I don't think anyone would last too long against them. These are trained WWE professionals. Man, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears shed in that ring over the years. And if these superstars have their way. Okay, I didn't know who that was. I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Turns out it's just some guy shoveling the goddamn yard and shit. Uh oh, nice gesture. Oh my god. I just fucked up. I just fucked up. Gut check time. Can he reach the title before his opponent stops him? I didn't even know how to get to the title. All good things must come to an end. But I wish that match could have got on a little longer. I fucked up. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to get to the title. I was using the analog sticks that that didn't work. I pressed circle, I pressed square, then I pressed X like a dumbass. And then I flipped out the goddamn ring. What the hell is Chris Jericho doing out here? He's another Raw superstar with absolutely no business involving himself in SmackDown affairs or in a WWE title match for that matter. Come on, Cole. You gotta brush up on your history. Chris Jericho was in ECW even before he came to the WWE. Someone's gotta stop this. Jericho's going to cripple him. You know what, dude? That was a hell of a match. But there was no way ECW was going to let a SmackDown superstar win our title. If you really want it, you still got to prove that you can go to the extreme. See, ECW isn't just an attitude, and it sure as hell isn't just a brand. It's a way of life. Hey, Chris, let him go. He's right, Junior. If there's one thing I'll never forget from my time at ECW, it's that being hardcore means making sacrifices for what you believe in. See, pain isn't a punishment. It's a blessing in disguise. So that ass clown Teddy Long should feel particularly blessed 
considering how much pain I inflicted on him a few months ago. Pain he inflicted on general manager Teddy Long? What exactly is Jericho saying? Yeah, that's right. I was the one who ran down Teddy Long. And it was the best career move Y2J ever made. Every Raw and every ECW superstar had something to gain from a weakened SmackDown. And think about it, Spaz. I'm both. It's only a matter of time before the ECW bug spreads to Raw. And I can finally take the World Heavyweight title from that cerebral ass clown, Triple H. That's right, dude. All for one and one for all. And this is your chance to join the winners, man. Consider the beating you took tonight is your initiation. You can join up with the new ECW, or like the rest of SmackDown, you can keep on getting your ass smoked by Rob Van Dam. Looks like he's got some serious thinking to do. If he makes the right choice. Oh, really? And what choice would that be? Look, Cole, there's some things that you and I aren't ever going to see eye to eye on, okay? So just drop it at that. Hmm. Join ECW. Stick with the SmackDown brand. Stick with the SmackDown brand. Don't know who gonna turn next, but we're joining ECW. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the right thing this time. See, normally I would take the heel turn, but because this is the final gameplay, I'm gonna just do the face thing. I'm not gonna do the heel turn. I'm not gonna join forces forces with the heel. I'm gonna stay a face for your sake because I know y'all gonna be in the comment section complain like, why aren't you being a? Why you gotta be a heel all the time? Why you can't be a face? Probably because I like the bad guy. Nobody ever thinks about the bad guy sometimes, but I take the risk. I take the risk and just play it safe. So I'm going to stay with SmackDown. There, you happy now? I'm finally being a fucking face for once. Can't never have my fun. Can't never have my fun. <laughs> 